story's been about Molly Taylor and Stephen Kinsale. 1.4 seconds apart coming into here. Let's see how Molly's run's gone. Molly, you're smiling. 1.4 on Mackenzie coming into here. How'd that one go? Uh, look, we're, we're trying our best and I feel like, um, you know, driving wise, there's not, I'm giving everything that I've got, but yeah, we just, we've got uh, the, the I don't know if it's a miss or it's a, a sense issue or cut out, but um, every time you change from second to third, it, it dies and it gets going. So it's just <laughs> incredibly frustrating. Steve McKenzie been in the fight of your life with Molly. 1.4 coming here. You've just taken two out of it. You've taken the lead by 0.6. It's still on. Oh, well. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, I said to you earlier we were trying to be kind to car, so that's the he's going out the window for today. Uh, we're bouncing on off banks in there, so... <laughs> well, that's good fun <laughs> and look a stage win obviously Eli has a strong lead but a stage win point six for you can't relax there's three runs now around Gawler the super stage and uh, that's what's going to play out today's heat for you yeah I was uh, planning on coming into Gawler a little bit behind so uh, to be in front that's excellent um, so I reckon I'm pretty confident we'll be able to hold that Well, yeah, obviously way slower that time, which means you bundle out of the fight with McKenzie, unfortunately. But the, the trick's now getting back. Can you realign that strap, or is it going to be a bit of a struggle home? Oh, look, I don't think the strap really lasted very long before it broke. Just the force of the, the whole strut moving around is too much. So as long as we don't let the spring decompress, as long as it stays with some weight on it, it should all stay more or less in position and the wheel in the right, well, the wheel in the wheel well. So that's yeah. what we're aiming for. Second today, another great solid effort. I mean, backed on with your first podium effort in uh, Coffs Harbour. This event's looking good. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we made the decision at lunchtime to have a push in the afternoon. So uh, the car, the car's held up well through all that too. So uh, we've really, really tested it out this weekend. The feeling, I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. I'm just. Speechless, you know, it's our third, my third championship now with with Glenn. Um, it's a pretty proud moment. It's, this year's with Citroen, so does that make it special? Because you've been in your own team with that before. Does this one make it special, being in a different make of car and everything? Yeah, it was a whole new challenge. I hadn't driven the car at the start of the year. Like we did this very basic test, which was got rained out. So we basically went to Rally One with no testing, and to be standing here right now, winning the championship is. Uh, Something that Glenn and I both worked hard towards and I feel like we're deserving winners. Westo, uh, he's a pretty special uh, driver, isn't he? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I easily say that um, the partnership that I've had with Eli has been the most successful. <laughs> I've been with a lot of good drivers, but um, Eli, Eli's um, a cut above at the moment. So, yeah, he's going great. You know, I, I think he can win anything that he gets in. So. The other thing which I just think back to the power stage in Coffs Harbour, when you could argue the toss of your man for 12 hours or so, you thought your championship was over potentially. The the team, this is a big team sport, and I think of that result. From then on, you won every heat, you won the round. Probably one of the reasons you're sitting here with a day to go is because of the team you got behind you. Looks absolutely everything. I honestly, after Coffs Harbour Power Stage, I, I even said to Glenn, oh, he'll vouch for it. I said, mate, that's it, that's our year, we're done. Like, this car is toasted and there's no way they can fix it. And for what they did in that 20 hour period to get the car to the start line, this is all for them. Like, they, they worked so hard and I still had my doubts. While the boys were getting, getting it together, I thought time frame and then once it was together, they, you know, I woke up in the morning and I said, is the car done? Yeah, it's done, mate. We finished it an hour ago, is what they said. And I said, oh, I can't believe it. And then the big question was, is it going to finish the rally? I still didn't know. And it did, amazingly. We've gone on to the, into the next rally now. Like you said, we've won every heat since that crash. And I plan on winning tomorrow too. <laughs>